Hello, boys and girls. How are you? Currently using Google Earth to tell you exactly where I am at this moment. And I thought, well, why not? Let's just make the Earth spin this way. Uh, oh, my Lord, I've lost Earth. Oh, I've lost England. Ah, there it is. Ah, uh, let's do it like this. You spin me. Right, I'm fed up of pissing around. Let's get on with it. Right, so, just gone. We went to Jared and Jacqueline's wedding. And uh, to start our journey, we start off in Northampton. So, come on, let's just go all the way down to Northampton. See, there's my lovely shithole of a town. <laughs> Love it. So, from Northampton, we went to Birmingham Airport. We actually went on the train for this. Wasn't too bad, actually. So, uh, there's Birmingham Airport. And then we flew all the way to Glasgow. Whee! <laughs> it's actually a fair distance, to be honest. It took us about 55 minutes to get to Glasgow Airport. Inside Glasgow Airport, we got ourselves a hire car. Okay, that's enough. I've had enough. It's a car. Yes, it made me dribble. It was gorgeous. Anyway, enough about that. I'm going to end up paying Vauxhall royalties for this video. Anyway, these two lovely people in front of us are Jared and Jacqueline. Oh, f f can't do anything right and post it. This is Jacqueline. This is Jared. There. Brain work properly, please. Anyway, these two were getting married on the Saturday. That's the whole reason we went up to Glasgow in the first place. We actually ended up at the hotel, so I'll get back to where I was a moment ago. Right, we've made it all the way to Scotland, and we've got our hotel room. Look at that. Gorgeous. I'm not showing off. I generally want to show this off. There's uh, the boss. Anyway, so we've got the super carsy. Yeah. A shower and... Well, there's a shower, there's the bath. It's actually not bad in there, actually. Give them my first flat. What else we got? Is there anything up there? Uh, ooh, no. It's just got dust. Anyway, so, uh, what have we got? Ooh, big ass safe. Ironing board and stuff. And hangers that you can't steam. Uh, what have we got? Right, there were two tonic tea cake things here, but we scoffed them. Got the uh, stuff that's needed. Anyway, so uh, let's just go here. Right, boss. So, uh, big queen size bed. Or is it king? Alright, fine, it's a king size bed. Fantastic. We've got TV and all the gubbings down there. And um, I'll tell you what, let's have a look, see what's in this drawer. So, you know, when you go to places, you always go in the drawers and stuff like that. Well, we found some earplugs. That's kind of kind of a given but the problem being is we went in this drawer here and Gideon's left his Bible again see Gideon now this sod has been to every hotel I have ever been to keeps leaving his Bibles behind uh, I wonder if his brother was here as well the other Gideon now see one Gideon has gone to every room I've ever gone to so yeah that's the room it's very nice let's have a look at the view Pretty. Oh look, the pool. And Mr. Fly. <laughs> so, I'll evict this fly soon, sweetheart. He didn't pay as much as us. This is our car. Uh, for intensive purposes, I've blurred the number plate. Never mind. So, this is a Vauxhall Insignia 18 plate. Absolutely gorgeous. Not as gorgeous as my wife. Like, as she says, f cool. 
Oh, sure, I've got to thank you. It's a turbo diesel, and trust me, I went from 40 to 60 in the space of nothing. And I need to unlock the car. Dipstick. Look at this, look at this, look at this, look at this, look at this. Oh! Look at that. It's gorgeous. Here we are in Scotland, and I broke the hire car. Yep. I hit a pothole and punctured a hole in the sidewall of the tyre. Fantastic. We're now waiting for the AA. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, I've killed the car. It's a fantastic drive. There's the wife. Who's not impressed, I might add. Actually, no. She's smiling. That's a good sign, usually. So, uh, yeah. I put a hole in the sidewall. And now we're waiting for pickup. We get more people back on the road than anyone else. Okay. We are the Automobile Association. We are the AA. So the AA arrived, took us off to a car park, removed the rear wheel, put it on the front, and gave us a 50 mile an hour space saver. This thing looked ugly. But it was all done in a church car park, which wasn't too bad. The Lord was looking over us. There's another shot of it all. Yep, car jack, sprays. And there's the garage where we had the tyre changed. And this lovely young gentleman is Ian. Ian works for the AA. Ian is a saint. Well, okay, yes, he did change the tyre in a church car park, but that's not why he's a saint. He's brilliant. Thank you very much, Ian. Thank you very much. Am I forgetting something? Ah, yes. As he was changing my tyre, a Clegg bit me. No, not that Clegg. This type of Clegg, commonly known down here in England as a horsefly, or as I like to call them, a little sod. It bit me. It died. I'm happy. Now, let's get back to where we were. So, what happened was, we ended up going to the National Garage, getting all the paperwork signed, and then he disappeared off to a nice little greasy spoon around the corner that was recommended by the mechanic who was going to fit the new tyres. As you can see in the picture, we ended up in a place called Taste Buds. On the right-hand side, you have the local water called Iron Brew, and on the left, you've got an Emperor Biscuit, two pieces of shortbread, raspberry jam or something like that in the middle, a little bit of icing on top, and a little mini gem. This was Kirsty's. Mine was practically half eaten, and the Coca-Cola I had was half drunk. So, didn't make for a pretty good picture, to be honest. So, after we came back, all the way back from Paisley, we went sod it, we're going back to the hotel. We then got scrubbed up really nicely. Kirsty, you look fantastic in this picture. Love you to bits, girl. I scrub up quite nice too. So, we arrived at the venue, on time, thank God, thank you very much Mr. AA, and Tony and George were getting stuck into a couple of pints while watching the England versus Sweden game. Yeah, we won that one. So, uh, if you're watching this in the future, yes, it was during the World Cup match. So, uh, pints and football. Hmm. So, Mr. Gerard and Mrs. Jacqueline exchanged their vowels and became Mr. and Mrs. Malone. Then the party and started. Yes, children's entertainer. Yeah, but the first one, what? he's called Sammy. Everyone say hi, Sammy. Hi, Sammy. No, Sammy is very long. Very long. You need to go back with the camera. Oh, Everyone say hi, Sammy. <laughs> What's that shoot? Uh, guys, before we get in, it's really low key. It's going to be really fast, and we need to keep our eye on the key. Okay, so this guy was the children's entertainer. He came with a leopard gecko, bearded dragon, a snake, a chicken that he said was an ostrich. He came with a guinea pig, rabbit. A rat, a duck, God knows where he got the duck from, and a turtle. The kids thoroughly enjoyed it. The bride held absolutely everything, and uh, yeah, absolutely fantastic. I'd recommend this guy. I'll see if I can get his details for the bottom.
And so our journey comes to an end. Wow, I actually did that one to the music. Uh, you know what I mean. So, thank you very much, Jared. Very, thank you very much, Jacqueline, for inviting us to your wedding. We absolutely thoroughly enjoyed it. Sorry he had to pinch off a bit early on the week, on the day. We had a flight back in the morning and we needed to get up. So, here's a few pictures of the day that I've captured. I've bunged them in right at the end because, let's face it, this video is ten and a half minutes long. And I'm fed up of editing it. But I have had fun editing it. So, watch this lot. Definitely forgotten something. Oh.